Hi, this is Mike. I'm here with Base Gamer at PAX Prime 2015. I'm here with Dennis Lennart of Minecraft Story Mode. And what's your role, Dennis? I'm the creative director on this uh, Minecraft Story Mode game. So tell us a little bit about Minecraft Story Mode. With Minecraft Story Mode, we're doing kind of an interesting thing, which is taking a game that's you know, primarily an open world sandbox like uh, creation, exploration game, and putting a really tightly woven narrative into it. So it, it's kind of an uh, odd idea to some people at first. We want to do something that would be like more all ages friendly, and uh, we're all big kind of nerds for like the old 80s Goonies and you know Ghostbusters and things that had like just a really light-hearted touch to them. They were just fun adventures, and uh, we've kind of been wanting for a while to do something like that. And Minecraft, we thought, would be the perfect license for it because the world is so accessible to kids, and they know, um, you know, the feel and like all the weird rules that this world has. And and we did too because we're all big fans, and we have a Minecraft server at Telltale we play on all the time. Some of the licenses we've worked on in the past, like say Game of Thrones or something, right? You know, there's obviously everyone who's really into that show or the books knows every detail of them. So we have to work with this really specific kind of small box. Um, and we can, you know, you know that certain characters are never going to die in our game because they can't die in the show or the books. So we always have to kind of find clever ways to work around them. And with Minecraft Story Mode, we actually kind of got the sandbox for storytelling in a way where we could just say, let's start from zero. What's a, what are the characters we'd want to talk about? And, and we, you know, the inspiration kind of came from different play styles. You know, there's... There's like the griefers, and there's people who are really focused on building, other people who love crafting, people who really like combat. And so we kind of started there as like a, the archetypes of Minecraft players and then said like, well, okay, what if these were real people in this world? What kind of fun adventures could they go on? And that ended up just opening up this giant world of possibilities. Endercon, why did you guys decide to put that kind of event in the game? We come to PAX every year. We love PAX. It's just a great kind of fan base convention. and. I don't know where the exact idea came from. I can't really remember, but we always thought it would be really funny to have a, kind of just a convention in the world that these people sort of nerded out to and went to, just like we do when we come up here. And that kind of, it's weird that it ended up working its way into like the entire story of how this adventure gets started. And tell me a little bit about the mechanics of the game. Is there anything different from most Telltale games? What can they expect? Um, yeah, so it is definitely a Telltale game. Um, you know, we... We're taking things that are familiar to Minecraft players, uh, you know, just kind of crafting, the idea of building things, sometimes resource gathering, um, you know, working with an inventory that <clears throat> you have certain things, what can you build with those? And we're really taking those familiar mechanics from Minecraft and trying to weave them into the narrative. So rather than just kind of letting you loose and saying, here's a ton of stuff that you have, go nuts and make anything you want, that doesn't really tell the best story for us because we want to put you in situations where, you know, you feel like you're the character in this world who's limited and has to work in this certain, you know, work out this puzzle with certain things. Uh, and so we worked really hard. It's actually been a lot tougher than usual in our games because usually we can just say, well, in the real world, we could solve a puzzle like this or someone would do this in this situation. Every time we try to do that in Minecraft, you come across things like, oh, okay, cool. Well, you know, we'll, you'll use the arrow and you'll break that glass and that's fine and like that works. And then someone will go, wait, wait, actually arrows don't break glass in Minecraft. And you're like, oh, okay, well, man, all right, what do we have to work with? And you end up being, putting yourself in the role of the player, kind of going like, what do we have to work with? How can we solve this puzzle with these ingredients? And so it's been fun. And so you've stayed true to Minecraft science or mechanics, right? Totally, yeah. That's our, our biggest thing is like making sure that everything we do and everything in the story is rooted in something that you could do in Minecraft. And, and any liberties we take are always worked out with Mojang like ahead of time. So we'll mention a quick story point to them or some mechanic or something we want to do and uh, a lot of times they'll come back with, you know what, actually, you could do that, but we saw this, you know, this like 12-year-old kid made this crazy thing online, and that would actually be even more of an interesting way to solve that puzzle. And so we'll throw that into the story, too. And we're always like on YouTube looking through uh, channels of people who just build the craziest stuff out there and just trying to find inspiration for things we can put in the game, you know, of like just cool, like so many people have so many cool, clever ideas of how to get around in this world that are really specific to Minecraft. And so that's... You know, we're trying to take kind of inspiration from that as much as possible. That's really cool. And also, you know, taking things back from the users and the community is awesome. Do you have any messages for out there wannabe devs or anything to say to the gamers? It's always a learning process. And no matter how many times you've worked on something or, you know, our, our Telltale games have a sort of similar formula that are, you know, based around choice and dialogue. Um, 
but we're always learning new things, and Minecraft Story Mode has definitely taught us that we're always going to keep learning no matter what we do. Awesome. Thank you so much. Minecraft Story Mode coming out in fall. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank I you. appreciate it.